Welcome to the 35th tutorial on beginning CSS. In this video, we're going to look at how to fix the position of an element. And basically, all we do is switch the position property to fixed. And the best way to show you how the fixed position works is to use it against uh, an element that's in an absolute position. And one thing also I want to point out is that you use the top and left properties. So it's the same thing. Both will use those, both the fixed and the absolute. So there's no difference there. The only difference is we are going to absolutely keep this element in a fixed position. It will not move. And I mean that literally. Now, the best way to show you again is to show you how it works against an element that's in an absolute position. So let's actually resize this browser. And the way to see this is actually when you use the scroll bar. So uh, let's let's resize this a little bit up here. Okay, so if I scroll this, you see how that div one is not moving? It will not move. It does not adjust accordingly. It will stay 10 pixels from the top. It will not move from that top position. You can see that it's not moving, whereas the elements in absolute position are. And so that's really it. That's the main difference. It's pretty easy to understand. Now, I will tell you that I do not use fixed positioning very much. I prefer to use absolute positioning. And the reason is I think it's a little bit unnerving, I guess, to the people that are browsing your web page. I think it's more natural to have the elements move accordingly. But there may be some times you will want to use fixed positioning. And uh, I've noticed in some websites, um, they will use this for advertisements, right? And they want to make sure it's always plastered in the window frame. And so you can't really get rid of it. It will always stay in a particular spot. But again, I prefer absolute positioning. And also, I like to float elements and use elements in the flow. And so again, I don't use fixed as much, but I wanted to show you what it was all about. Now, there is yet another parameter that we can put in here. It's called relative. Yes, there is relative positioning, but that's really for a more advanced CSS tutorial. And actually, I don't even really use that a lot either. Um, I, I get unpredictable results with uh, relative positioning, but maybe in a future series, I will uh, talk about that. 